Hello again everyone, this is Sam Sakaya with Simon Max One on YouTube and if you're watching on Facebook, uh, glad that you're here. Uh, now today I'm going to just show you a quick tutorial on how to use uh, uh, Pixlr and make a Facebook cover. Okay, I know there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube that show you how to do this. Uh, some of you might be familiar with Pixlr. Uh, and some of you may not and how to do a Facebook cover okay so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna leave the link below here uh, for Pixlr It's just pixlr.com uh, and once you uh, find that just go ahead and click on the first one that pops up and once you open it it should look like this go ahead and hit the bookmark and save it there's no downloading or anything now Pixlr is also known uh, as a poor man's Photoshop even though it does a lot of great things for photos uh, as a software, it, it, what it, what's great about it, it has three different programs in it. So if you're advanced, you could use the Pixlr editor. If you kind of want to have fun with the effects, use the efficient one, which is Pixlr Express. And if you just want a one click kind of effect, just use the Pixlr Omatic. Okay. So we're going to use, uh, kind of the Pixlr editor to start out with and then finish it off in Pixlr Express. Okay. The first thing you want to do is, uh, go ahead and open Pixlr, uh, editor. You can do it from up here. And once you get to this page, the first thing you want to do is make a template. Now, a template for a Facebook cover is a certain size. Okay, so the size would be 851 by 315. So let's go ahead and make that first. Okay, so we're going to create a new image. Now, from here, you can name it anything you want. Basically, uh, the first thing you want to do is give it a name. So just name it like Facebook template. Okay, or Facebook cover template, however you want to do. Okay, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and, and click on the, on the width where the size is. And go ahead and hit 851 in the width and in the height just go ahead and hit 315 and hit OK and you should get this uh, white border kind of a template uh, landscape looking thing the next thing you want to do is go to file and save now when you hit save it's sh whatever you named it it should pop up here even though it says untitled because we never named it up there but you could name it here as Facebook cover template okay and go ahead and hit OK and we'll ask you where you want to save it now when I do certain things like this that I know I'm gonna use right away I basically save them on my desktop so I don't have to look for them okay now you could be doing this for your friend just save the template in this format so that way you can always have it alright so from here we're gonna cancel even though you would hit OK and save it but I'm gonna cancel because I already have one of these okay so we're gonna hit the arrow back and go into uh, Pixlr Express and the first thing I'm going to do is hit the browse button and I'm going to bring up that template that we just did okay and it's right here now from here you can actually bring in any photo that you have the only thing a uh, restriction that Facebook has is make sure that the photo is yours make sure that the photo has no copyrights on it make sure it's royalty free that way you can use it uh, and also make sure uh, the Facebook that doesn't allow any arrows uh, that you would have uh, the person that comes to your page where they're pointing into something that would lead them into something else like click here or if you're selling an item and it would take them somewhere else so keep the arrows and and certain things that they don't like if you're not familiar read their terms okay but we're gonna make this short and simple now the only other thing I want to let you know is this left hand lower corner here is uh, you don't want to add any text in this area this is where your profile photo uh, kind of comes into play okay so you could do any kind of effect on the whole image down here just don't do any text in this lower corner here okay so now the image that I have is what I did is I saved it in PNG format which is a photo of our famous singer Linda George which means is is I've taken the background away from the from from her and basically it's just her 
so I can float it any way you want. Now you don't have to do that and if you want to know how to do uh, remove backgrounds there's a lot of videos on YouTube or you can leave a, a comment down there and I can show you how to do that. But for the sake of this tutorial I've already removed the background and I have a floating photo. Now you can do that without the uh, PNG format. You could just put a photo in here and do all the effects that you want. It would be the same thing, okay? But let's just go ahead and keep it moving. So I'm gonna bring in the picture. So I'm gonna hit the adjustment button. And on the upper left-hand side here, it says add an image. We're gonna click on that. And here it says browse. So we're gonna browse and I'm gonna bring up the PNG image, which I have already done. So here it is, we're gonna open it. And as you can see, uh, you can float it anywhere we want, but we're going to resize it right away. So I'm going to resize it to where I think it should be. I'm going to keep it in this left-hand corner, and I'm going to hit Apply down here. Now, the next thing I like to do is, in order to keep this uh, image flat and all one piece, I go ahead and save it. So I hit Save, and now I just name it, like Facebook Cover. Okay, I'm not going to name it template. I'm going to say cover because I've already added something to it. The template should be all white. Okay, so once you save it, just save it to your desktop. Okay, so I'm going to hit cancel and I'm going to close this and I'm going to bring up the one that I've already saved. Okay, so it's the same picture, same everything. It's just uh, 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 flattened up already. Okay, so here it is. Now the next thing I want to do is basically you could play around with this all day long, okay? But we're going to just go ahead and go into uh, uh, overlays. And uh, I'm going to choose this retro poster here. And I like this, uh, this effect here that says beam. I'm going to click on it and it puts it in a background. Now down here, uh, you can actually take the opacity down. So I want to take it down to about uh, 60%, okay? So right there is where I want it. Once I like where it is, I'm gonna hit apply. And once we got that done, that's great. The next thing we're gonna do is hit the neon. At least this is my preference. You could use any of these uh, uh, effects as you want, okay? I'm just kind of showing you how the tutorial and process goes. So I like this Florence one. I'm gonna click on it. It puts it in this left-hand corner. Now in my last video, I never told you uh, that you can actually move these around. They don't have to be in the same area. So what I would like to do is move this up into this area. So I'm gonna hit the button that has the arrows going up and I'm gonna leave it up to the top here. I'm gonna keep the opacity the way it is. I'm gonna hit apply. I'm gonna go back into my neon and I like this eclipse one. So I'm gonna click on that. It puts it in the right hand side where I don't want it. So I'm gonna push the arrow that's going to take it from left to right or right to left. Now it puts it back here and I like the way it looks down here. So I'm going to hit apply. The next thing I'm going to do is go into leaks. Uh, leaks are different kind of colors here. Uh, and I kind of like this night one that has red and blue on it. I'm going to click on it. I like the effect that it adds right here. So I'm going to hit apply. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is go into stickers. Now, Linda George is a, is a famous singer, so there, I know there's a, a symbol of a musical note, so I like to add that. You can add anything you want. I'm going to hit the down arrow here and find the musical note. It's right here. Now, obviously, it's too big, so I'm going to resize it to where I think it should be. Um, let's see. I think it's a little bit bigger. There we go. And I'm going to keep it away from her hand. So that looks pretty good. Now you can go ahead and hit the uh, color and change any color you want. I like the black, so I wanna hit apply, okay? Now the next thing we're gonna do is add some text, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and and, um, and uh, actually I wanna add some more effects. I'm gonna go to borders and I'm gonna hit nature. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I like this kind of, uh, I think it's called Lilia. Uh, this effect right here and what I want to do is take the opacity down a little bit so it's not so blunt and dark okay that looks pretty good I'm gonna hit apply okay the next thing I'm gonna do is go to text and you could choose any of these texts you want I'm gonna go into retro and right where the font is I'm gonna click on it, it gives me a, a whole bunch of different uh, fonts that you could choose. I like this diner one, so I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna click in the text area, 
and I'm going to just say welcome to my page. Now you could be doing this to a friend's page or your page, however you feel it should be uh, done. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is hit the color and I'm going to change it to maybe like a, a darker blue. Uh, that looks pretty good, but I'm going to resize it so it doesn't look so big. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to kind of place it to what I think it should fit. That looks pretty good. I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to go back in the text. I'm going to click on the font area. I'm going to choose the same lettering, Diner. I'm going to put her name, Linda George. Okay. I'm going to change the color to black so it stands out. Okay. I'm going to resize it a little bit. Bring it down to where I think it should be. Now remember, you're your profile photo is going to fit right here perfectly. So if you're making one for your friend, uh, make sure that the name is kind of, it doesn't go past halfway of the width of your uh, photo cover. Okay. So once we like that, we're going to hit OK. It's going to keep it like that. The, the next thing I'm going to do is go back into overlay and I'm going to add a little bit of this flame or fire. Uh, I kind of like this one. It's called uh, Fluon, I think. Uh, the only thing I don't like is I don't want it too much over her, so I'm going to bring the opacity down just a little bit to give it that extra brightness. Okay, and I'm going to hit apply. And there you go. Now from here, you're going to hit save, and you're going to name this whatever. You know, if your friend's name is Kathy, just name it Kathy's Cover. If it's yours, put it under your name, and however you want to do it, and hit save. And it's going to ask you where to save it. Just save it to anywhere you want, from your desktop to your folder, however you want. Okay, so hopefully this helped you uh, in how to make a Facebook cover for your friends or for yourself and hopefully uh, it was very helpful. Pixlr is a great program and uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please leave any comments. Uh, if you're watching this on Facebook or on YouTube, please go ahead and subscribe and leave any comments, any questions. I'm sure I'll get back to you and answer them. Thank you for watching again. This is Sam Scaria with Simon Max One.